June 13th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 60 and 61 from the Old Testament. O God, you have rejected us. You suddenly turned on us in your anger. Please restore us. You made the earth quake. You split it open. Repair its breaches, for it is ready to fall. You have made your people experience hard times. You have made us drink intoxicating wine. You have given your loyal followers a rallying flag so that they might seek safety from the bow. Selah. Deliver by your power and answer me so that the ones you love may be safe. God has spoken in his sanctuary. I will triumph. I will parcel out Shechem. The valley of Succoth I will measure off. Gilead belongs to me as does Manasseh. Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my royal scepter. Moab is my wash basin. I will make Edom serve me. I will shout triumph over Philistia. Who will lead me into the fortified city? Who will bring me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? O God, you do not go into battle with our armies. Give us help against the enemy, for any help men might offer is futile. By God's power, we will conquer. He will trample down our enemies. O God, hear my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer. From the most remote place on earth, I call out to you in my despair. Lead me up to an inaccessible rocky summit. Indeed, you are my shelter a strong tower that protects me from the enemy. I will be a permanent guest in your home. I will find shelter in the protection of your wings. Selah. For you, O God, hear my vows. You grant me the reward that belongs to your loyal followers. Give the king long life. Make his lifetime span several generations. May he reign forever before God. Decree that your loyal love and faithfulness should protect him. Then I will sing praises to your name continually as I fulfill my vows day after day. God, today I do seek your protection. I do seek your shelter. You are my strong tower. You know what is going on in my life. You know what is going on in the lives of all the people who are listening right now. Please protect me from the enemy. I ask prayers for them as well. I'm not sure why this has to continue for such a long time. Or what lesson you're trying to teach them or me. But I'm having a really hard time dealing with it. It's been going on for such a long time. I am a permanent guest in your home, and I do find shelter in the protection of your wings, God. But right now, more than anything, I just need this to end. And if it is your will, please allow it to do so. It's already affecting my health. I'm physically agitated in dealing with it. I don't know how much more I can take. But I do know that in your presence, I at least can breathe. That even with all of the drama that happened today and has happened in the past, that it's you I continually come back to. It's my safe place. It is my peaceful place. It is the only place that I feel safe anymore. God, thank you for your faithfulness in protecting me. Again, I ask prayers for the other person. I don't know why they are continuing to do this. But I do know that they need you. And probably your grace and mercy and your forgiveness. But they need your guidance right now. God, I just love you so much. And I want to work as hard as I possibly can for you and your ministries. But it just feels like all of this other drama just keeps sidetracking me off of that. I'm sorry for whatever has happened in this other person's life to cause him to get to this point. But I'm 
honestly just tired of it affecting my life this way. Please help them. Please help them realize that this is not how you act. This is not how you behave. This is not how you treat somebody else. There are many times where I fear for my life. And you know that. But I do know that you will protect me. And I also know where my permanent home is at <laughs> once I leave here. God, I know that there's people listening right now who are also going through drama or hard times or persecution, evil situations, things that just don't make sense. People treating them in ways that you should not be treated. Perhaps even some people are dealing with things that I'm dealing with right now. God, give them strength. Make them realize that they don't need to be fearful, that you are there to shelter them and protect them, that no matter what happens, that our eternal reward for being one of your followers is to get to spend time in heaven, and that's, that's amazing. God, thank you for, for today, even with all the drama that ensued. Thank you for today. Thank you for the people in my life who are very, very close to me and protect me physically while I'm here on earth and help watch my path and watch my back. I know you put them there. Thank you for the peace you brought to my heart today so that I can get work done and breathe again. And God, I just ask that whatever needs to happen, that you just make it really clear for everybody involved. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.